afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Toronto Blue Jays. Interleague Baseball comes your way next. Ryan Barucki, southpaw from Illinois, gets the starting call in this one. And please, Zach, what do you got? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that died is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. First offering on its way. And this one's nowhere close as it bounces to the plate for ball one. First pitch, 107. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Now the one and one pitch. Rounded to the right. Russell gets to it. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. That accepted. The first out. The Segura. Coming to the plate now, Gene Segura. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Joe McDonald. You know, you got to take your time and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit. He has a tendency to move his zone around, usually set, settling in in those middle innings. You know, all you ask for an umpire is to be consistent. At times, Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent, particularly from a pitcher standpoint. Bases are empty, one man up. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Maruki has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. In this day and age of smaller ballparks, the ball's lively, the bats are harder. This guy does a great job of keeping the ball in the ballpark. And one of the keys, He's not predictable. He'll throw his off-speed pitches behind an account. He's really difficult to sit on just one pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Ready with another 2-2. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Handed by Russell. What a play! That is good. The center fielder. With his job. Stepping up now, Mark Withenshaw. They've got to take his first cuts here. And now, pitch on the way. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. on the ground out to second. Russell has it. Off balance throw. Gets it. Nice play there as the side is retired. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. Now the Blue Jays will get their chance. No score. Zach Wheeler, right into Georgia native, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. The one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gets his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Stepping into the box, corner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The pitch.
2. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That's a pretty good pitch right there. That fastball on the inner half of the plate. You can see that he just isn't able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there. Here's Addison Russell. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. One out, nobody on. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Well, at the rate he's going, he's going to strike out 1-7 to seven on 81 pitches. Not throw a single ball and, and toss a perfect game. Obviously, I'm kidding. But you can't start a game any better than this. Two hitters, two strikeouts, six pitches. This has the makings of a great outing already. Stepping in for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. No one aboard for him and two gone here in the first. Here's a fastball called for strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Wind up and the 0-1. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. Line drive base hit. For every pitcher would like to get through that first inning, one, two, three, a two-out single. Now, the cleanup man comes up. Really? Absolutely, and you know what that means. Pluto hitter, guys are in scoring position. The minute he steps in the box, let alone have someone on first base. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 1-0. Hit back up the middle. Segura fields it cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for Toronto. Still no score. Here's Bryce Harper now. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The right field of the three. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Ball line to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. A one one waves and misses for strike number two. A one two. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. So here's the Phillies DH. Scott Kingery. And he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Carlson back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. That is fifth. The third baseman, Marlon Gonzalez. 
Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Here's the first pitch to him. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Ball one taken just off the inside. Finds the zone, a cold strike. This pitch is popped up. Tellers put this one away, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Selected in the first round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name. The kids are buying his jerseys. A ball and a strike now. 1 1. Fly ball out to straightaway center. Withenshaw has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. In now, Rowdy Tellers. First offering on its way. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull the trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High 80s velocity. Count even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. That is better. The center fielder, number 25. Late now, number 25. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Now 1-0. Swing and a miss. That's the first strike. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. One pitch. This right-handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two-seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. The two-one. Fastball down below the knees. Nope. 
This is ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Carlson. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Pitch of the at-bat on its way. Carlson has had his trouble in these matchups, facing right-handed pitching, that is. He shows a lot more prowess against the southpaws. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. He's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. Set the deal on a ball and two strikes. Bottom of the second here with no score. And fastball blew it right by him. There are two downs. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, and that, that's the advantage of getting ahead of town. You can really force hitters to expand their zone of protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Up next is Danny Jansen. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Here's the 1 0. Fouled off. Two men are on with two men out. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Swing and a fly ball to straightaway left. Coming on is McCutcheon. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair. We we'll move to the third with no score. Takes time. You say you're trying to reach the sky. You can do it all that takes his time. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. That's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Now the pitch. Nope, that's inside. The 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. A swing and it drives to center field. That one's got a chance. Center fielder looking up, still going back. Gone to lead off the inning. It's a solo shot off the bat of Andrew McCutcheon. And the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. Well, if you're going to get your first hit of the game, you might as well do it with a bang. He thought he could squeeze one past him, but he thought wrong. That'll bring up the Sacramento pop, Luis Hoskins, as he grounds one briskly to short. And he is in there. That is not. Chalk 
that one up as an 86, and he really can't believe it out there. Runner at second now as a result of the error. And next to hit is the catcher, Omar Narvaez. First pitch coming, here it is. Here's the 0 1 pitch. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1 and 1. Hoskins stands at second with no outs. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I got two on the count. Speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Finally, up to this point, the entire lineup had been swinging at anything close and this guy decides to show a little more patience than the dish and is rewarded with the base on balls. That was a good at bat. Digging in for his second at bat, Cesar Hernandez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. Here's the 1 0. -oh. Line drive base hit. Content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded the now with still nobody out. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looks like the yeah. second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. Gene Segura stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Hit out towards second. And the scoots under his glove. Oh, what a time for that. One run scores. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 3 nothing game. The center fielder, number 24. With a job. Standing in now, Mark Withenshaw. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two and 0 to the Philly center fielder. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count. Runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Now a sinker falls in there for a ball strike, two and one. From the stretch. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. Working for the punch out and the offering. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. Swing and a miss, and that's a much needed first out there. Now back. Now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Bryce Harper. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A.B. that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Oh, and one the count to Bryce Harper. 
And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate to make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. And he struck him out. For my money, there's nothing better than a three-pitch see you later. But look here. He gets him on his heels with strike one, up against the ropes with strike two, and then he KOs him on pitch number three. Love it. And in steps Scott Kingery. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Kingery. Swings and throws from the right side and stands at five foot ten. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. He's set now the pitch. Oh. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. This is fouled at the plate. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Try again, one, two. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Two two one more time. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Here's the 3-2. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Stepping in, Marwin Gonzalez. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Base is juiced now with two away. First pitch on its way. Pitch to the plate as a sinker for a called strike one. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach, but if they can't score anymore here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. The changeup gets him out the front for strike two. Three runs already home here. Strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they do get three that inning. That's the good news. The bad news is they leave three men on base. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Phillies lead it three to nothing. Riding in once again, corner. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Hey, we're still in the early stage of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Withenshaw has it, and it's a quick out number one. Now back, second base out of the So digging in now, Addison Russell. Ready. Here's the first offering. Aye. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking the zone. He wants a quick inning so he won't be nibbling. Slider laid off for a ball. Starts to go around to the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. And it's fouled away. 
Bases are empty, one man out. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Popped him up. Hernandez backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now back to third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ready for another chance? Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He reached on a single in his first try. Wheeler sets his sights. Here it comes. Swung out and belted. Got him. 
Jays answer right back with this solo home run. We played three full. It's the Phillies three and the Blue Jays one. Come on now and take the ball for the fourth time this spring. Now batting, Andrew McCutcheon. And hey, it was a ranking ball for Booth. This guy's a pretty good off speed hitter. You can tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. One and oh, the count. The pitch. Three and oh now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. 3-1 count to the Phillies left fielder. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Hit sharply on the ground. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in the strike. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Bell kicks and deals. One ball, and one there's ball. ball one. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. The guy with massive power led the lead. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Wow, talk about a race pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Drilled right back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove out. Oh, hard single of a hit. Yeah, watch oh, your wow. lips right there, Dan. Oh, Sent it back right where it came from. Into the box now, Omar Narvaez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. A one count, here's the pitch. Three runs, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Fouled off. The one, two. Nope. Two balls, two strikes. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. The second for one. Turn throw is in time. 
what do you know? They do get the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was a rough start, right? But nothing changes to have like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. For the top of the lineup, stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He's one for two in this one. From the stretch. Here's a moment where you got to be a great teammate. Pick your buddy up who just grounded into a double play. I don't care what it looks like, single, gapper, homer, just get that guy in from third and get your team back moving. That's inside. 2-0. Put in play to the right side of the infield. Gonna be a tough play. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Philly strand one, but they hang on to a three to one lead. Mike Miner is out from the bullpen now as he'll work in his third game so far this spring. Number 23, Mike Miner. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up Rowdy Tillett. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Ball one to start the at-bat. Breaking ball, but it's low. Two and one after the foul ball there. And now pitch on the way. Lifted the other way out to left center. Catch is made out there by McCutcheon, and that's the first out. Now batter, number 25. Digging in, number 25. He drew a walk his first time. Now the pitch. Wind up and the 0-1. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. The right fielder, number seven, Dylan Carlson. To the plate now, Dylan Carlson. And as the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game. Now, the problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. In there, two and one. Two one. Kicks and deals. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. 
a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing the walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. And he's back standing. Set and the pitch. Danny Jansen is in with two away as he takes a ball, one and oh. One run, four hits, one error thus far for Toronto. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Minor sets. Here's his offering. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Two-one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Now a throw over. He's back in standing. Runner on first with two away. And another throw, keeping particularly close tabs on it. And the count will be full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Drill down the line. And this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Line drive to left. In there. Base hit. Now batter. Number 11. So now to the plate, Horner. She'll take a look at the strike right down the middle. It's 0 1. Go for 2 for him to this point. Oh one. 1, here's the pitch. Oh, that's off the stage. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Back door slider. Just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. The 2-1 home. Fastball that misses. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. Just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. The walk would be good here, too. Swing and a liner, but foul. Now the payoff pitch home. And his misses for ball four. So it's an intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Digging in now, Addison Russell, as he'll look to bring home that tie run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Clearly, this is a tough situation to be on the mound, but the key here is minimizing. 
They're up by two, so he could find a way to get out of this bases loaded jam by only giving up one run. That would be clutch. Four, Awfully down. close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to boot two. And he misses two and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Hits are even right now at five a side. And it's fouled away. Close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. And that, that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. So just the one run scores here in the frame. A run on two hits here for Toronto. On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Phillies three, the Blue Jays two. Wilmer Fox is out from the bullpen here as he'll be making his fifth appearance this spring training. Start of the inning, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Gene Segura. First offering on its way. And this one's not close, it's in the dirt for ball one. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Three and zero oh now. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the three zero. -oh. Swing and a miss, and the count goes full three and two. 
Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup? Or do you stay with the heat? The center fielder, number 24. With his job. First pitch to the plate and move to first. And he just manages to get his hand in. In now, Mark Withenshaw as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now, 1 0. He is swung on, missed in that strike one. And now the Blue Jays get a left hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Chopper to first might only get one. There's one on the first, but not in time as he beats it out. It's really tough to double up a guy with what speed that he has, and he was hustling all the way on this ground ball. So they should be happy they at least got the guy out at second. It'll be interesting now to see if he tries to use that speed again and swipe a bag and get into scoring position. And now it will be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Bryce Harper, he's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Runners going, strike taken, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. This catch is not known for his throwing ability, so you compound that with a big lead at first base. He had no chance to throw that runner out in second. Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Hey, you could tell his eyes lit up on that ball right there. It was a little up, but it was out over the plate. Tough pitch to pull, and this guy's known for going deep pull side. In the dirt here, and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Rounder hit hard down the first baseline. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And now this will make it down to the 334 sign. Oh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice How job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Stepping in now, Scott Kingery, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. It was a walk in his last trip. Good lead off the second there, now the pitch. Left side, fielded cleanly, in time to first, and there are two away. Now that the third baseman. Marlon Gonzalez. Digging in once again, Marwin Gonzalez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. Here's the 0-1. One and one. Changeup just off the back, and it's two and one. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Full count now, three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Oh, fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. One for the Phillies here on the RBI double. On to the bottom of the fifth. And Philadelphia's taken a 4-2 lead. Zach 
second half of the will come on and pitch now for the seventh for the time here this spring. Number 56. That. Eflin. Set down for the bottom of the fifth. And striding forward the designated hitter. Willie Calhoun. The designated hitter. Willie Calhoun. Ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Fastball yeah. taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. The way he's been able to command his fastball, those first two pitches, don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. The one two. Hit to short. There's Segura. And that's the first down. So one away here with the bases empty, and that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. First pitch of the at bat. Lays off again and it's 2 0. 2 0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Count. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that'll even the count at two and two. The pitch. Fouled away. Here's another two two. Swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Rowdy Tellez, the next to bat, lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Down 0-2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Well, that's a pitch right there you've got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0-2. If you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know what's great. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. 1-2-3 go the Blue Jays. Still down by a count of 4-2. to two. Number 33 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Now pitching for the Phillies. Number 33. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Andrews. Ready, here's the first offering. Now 1-0. One off. 
effort at it. Missed for the first strike. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. a good two-seam fastball you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you good job to lay off that one but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four well he's a youngster you can see he's a little nervous out there some people call it butterflies but to him it probably feels like pterodactyls are flying around in his gut going to be interesting to see if he can settle down here. Ready now, Reese Hoskins. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. First pitch on its way. One out. Now some definite signs of life in that Toronto bullpen. Both a lefty and a right-hander begin to throw. We're in the sixth inning now of a four-to-two ball game. One and one, the count now. Set. Now the pitch. Cool. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. one. Got to find a way to get one back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two-run homer. Three-and-one pick. Lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. So striding in, Omar Narvaez. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now back. Second baseman. Pedro Hernandez. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Cesar Hernandez. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. 
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here's a slider that's inside, 1-0. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Runners are at first and second with one away. And it lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The one-two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Pretty textbook breaking ball. Down shot right there. Whoop, got it to bend a lot. And by the time it got there, it all completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that one. Gene Segura standing in. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. The 1 0. Doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. But if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage. On the ground to the left side. So on the first is in time. The Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. We're back with more from the Grapefruit League after this. Jared Eichel enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 48, Jared Eichel. Settling in now, number 25. They've got us going for the Jays in their half of the sixth. Number 25. First pitch coming, here it is. And he fouls this one off. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Lays off the slider, and it's 1-1. One and one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Bullock back up the middle. Withenshaw patrolling center makes the play. One out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Now with the plate, Dylan Carlson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. one. Wind up and the 0-1. Ball that time. One out, nobody on. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a four. The one-two. It's high and outside for a ball. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice yeah, before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. At the plate now, Danny Jansen. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. One home. 
pitch is popped up. Hoskins is under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Blue Jays go down in order. They trail it here four to two. Number 76 is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 26 is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. This is line to left that gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. What a nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Stayed on the attack. Kept his hands inside the ball and tipped with the pitcher game. Come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 25, Nope. And this one's down off the shoe tops. 1-0. sent out to center field a ball that's carrying on the warning track he makes the catch the back number two designated hitter God Nick Williams will be summoned off the bench here so he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning Nick Williams Sinker's in there. No balls in the strike. Williams swings the bat and throws from the left side and stands in at six foot three. He was taken in the second round during the first year player draft of 2012. Hold on there. He got him. Tried to swipe second base, but he's gunned down for the out. Two out, nobody on. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer him dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Here's the pick. Lined in the right, a base hit. For Philadelphia, the third base. No, the left will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Nope. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Behind now, 2 0. Oh. 2 and 1. The 2 1 home. This is in the air out to right. 
under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One left for Philadelphia, but they still lead this one four to two. Number 26 will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Morgan Rodriguez gets the ball from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home set with the field. Number 29, Morgan Rodriguez. Number 6 will also enter as he takes over at third base. Number 6. Adam Halsey is into the ball game as well as he takes over out in green. Brendan Rory is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Two, two pitch. Ball three. Three and two now. 
Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Now the three and two pick. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Still down by a count of four to two. Brandon Drury will remain in the game in the ninth spot in the order and take over at shortstop. Number 71 will stay in the game taking over at third base and batting in that ninth spot. Jake Patrichka heard and summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Martinez is also into the ball game now as he takes over at second. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the Cuba National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Start to get ready in the bullpen. One and one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. The one and two delivery. And a swing and a miss, and McCutcheon is set down for round number one. Time now for our starter comparison, and that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. Renfro has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Now with the plate, Reese Hoskins. It was a walk in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. Count one and over. Getting late for two. Our score as we play the eighth inning. Check swing here, but the home plate umpire says he went around, but no argument, and it's one and one. Here it comes. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd. Foul. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Liner in there for the base hit. Alan Henson is into the ball game as a defensive replacement. He'll be the new shortstop. Now play court. Number one, Alan Henson. Standing in now, Omar Narvaez. He'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. One, here's the pitch. Runner at first here, one man out. And yeah, he'll just waste one there, one and two. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. Two. Soft liner toward first. 
But this is speared by the first baseman. Now that second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Cesar Hernandez who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. From the stretch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0 and 2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. And he wastes a fastball high there, 1 and 2. This is flared out towards second. Throw on the second for the horse and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Phillies four, the Blue Jays two. Dick Pinarano is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 54, Victor Pinarano. Lisa McGuire try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch it to lead off the home half of the inning. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Now a ball and a strike. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing? And he's down one and two. Arano stands six two and throws from the right side. He's a five year vet at the major league level. A one two. On high in the air. Segura waits on it. Looks it into his glove, and then there's one gone. Now that that's exactly the what they wanted to get that pitch up in the zone. They took him off the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop up. Well executed pitch there. Rendell Richard will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. Oh. Pitch on the way. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside 1-1. One and one. Now here's the pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Now here it comes. Bases are empty, one man out. This one's tapped foul at home plate. Now another one, two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, number 
number 44. Wait, Jordan Patterson will come, come on now as the pinch hitter. Number 72, Jordan Patterson. Bold strike as the slider gets the outside corner. And it's one and one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two. At the ball. Two out, nobody on. Fly ball right down the line and left. After it is McCutcheon. Into the corner, he makes the catch to end the inning. The Blue Jays go down in order. They trail it here four to two. Rendell Gritchett remains in the game, batting ninth and manning left field. Now playing left field. Number 15. Patterson remains in the game, batting eighth and manning first base. Number 72. Jordan. Tim Mesa enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Gene Segura. He's set and the pitch. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Meza was born in the state of Pennsylvania. He was a 12th round selection back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Rounded back up the middle, scooped up. Throw on the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over. Stepping into the box, number 26. He singled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. Oh, and one count and the pitch. One out, nobody on. Popped up. Patterson is there for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Up next for Philadelphia, the right fielder, Adam Baldry. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Adam Palsy. Here comes the first pitch. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Line hard. But this will be a foul ball. Ready on 0 and 2. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non competitive off speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. The 1 2. Taken high, but for a call, strike three. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, as they can't add to their four to two lead.
David Robertson takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. David Robertson. Into the box, number 25. He's one for two in the ball game. The better fielder, number 25. First delivery to him on the way. Good slider there, gets a swing and miss. Now the 0-1. One. one and one. Couldn't lay off that time. It's one and two. And the pitch. Rounded down the third baseline. This is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. The pitch. The knuckle third there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. A swing and a miss on the ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Wow, that's the case right there where pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung it. At the plate, Dylan Carlson. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Number 26 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now back, number nine. <laughs> At the plate, Danny Jansen. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the night. First pitch of the at-bat. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. The pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Final strike for the Blue Jays. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Four to two, the final score today. The Philadelphia Phillies led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Zach Wheeler pitches well enough to get the W. Ryan Barucki worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Rodney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.